In this video, I'll be explaining the mini project, the surreal cloning image. All right, so after you complete the cloning activity, which was basically using Photopea or Photoshop to create the clone image that you see here, um, you're going to be creating your own image like mine. So I'm just going to go over the rubric, the mini project rubric, uh, some things to kind of do to create this for yourself, the project requirements, and talk about due dates, okay? So uh, for this particular video, this is going to be for remote students, so the due date may be a little bit different for you face-to-face -face students. So um, the project objective is you're going to be using Photoshop or Photopea to create a surreal image with clone figures that interact with each other. In your final image, you must have at least five clones and be shot in the same environment, okay? So the project requirements, again, the images that you use must be clear. Um, you must use Photoshop or Photopea to create. Uh, you're going to be using your imagination to be to create this as well. Uh, use at least five clones that interact with each other or in the environment. Your final project will be titled your initial clones, and it'll be a JPEG. All right, make sure you use good craftsmanship when applying your layer masking. Materials you'll need. You need some kind of digital camera. You'll need some kind of tripod or set your camera down somewhere so that it doesn't move and, or you can have someone shoot it for you but i would suggest maybe resting your phone on a wall or something and then putting the timer on or having it rested on the ground uh, and then having someone take that picture i had a tripod and i just used my timer on my watch to take my pictures but you do not want to move your images or your camera at all as you're taking your images because it will mess up the background and make it harder for you to do your layer masking right and then you basically will be using photoshop to create your final image right um, i want you guys to have fun with this again it should be look a lot like the one you did for me in the practice activity right here have fun um also i would suggest you guys shooting in a wide uh shot so that you get more of the background and then you can move around that background as much as you want okay again tripod don't move your camera when you're taking your picture you could also shoot someone else as the clone that totally works and you can just photograph it that will work as well but again uh save those jpegs and you'll be using those jpegs to create your final image okay uh, this will be due for remote students on the 25th. Again, have fun. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Have fun. Good luck.